What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Phil from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time, welcome. And today, another fam from Controllerize. This is Black Cubes. What up? What up? And we're going to talk about... Who are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about <laughs> <laughs> live workflow through the SP from yes. the DAW. Yes. And this is one of the co-founders of Controllerize, if you don't know. So without further ado, let's get, get into, into it. it. All right, so this is live workflow, and this is how I set myself up. Right now, I use FL Studio. I think this is 11. Uh, I haven't upgraded. But um, so basically, I chop my samples onto the FPC. So I would take the sample that I want to use after cutting it from the song or from the record, and I would put it into FL Studio. Through Edison is my preferred choice. And I cut it into Edison, then drop it directly onto the pad. Now, all of this sound is running from the computer into an inbox from from the inbox into the SP from the SP into the mixer so everything's coming out of the computer basically into the SP all right so once I have my all my samples logged into FPC I then assign them using the machine so when you hook up your machine to F, F, uh, L studio you have to hit shift and hit MIDI then you turn it into a MIDI machine meaning you can map any of these to whatever effects you want on there but that's important to the FPC and make sure they all cut each other or however you find adequate for you to roll and then basically I just play my song and now if I find my groove or however I then I would record it in through the SP now. Now, this is the part that can get a little tricky because you either have to do it yourself or have a friend to help you out. So what I do is I usually start on the one with the record because the kick is usually the lead for the song, so. And then you would stop it on the loop. it helps you take out the sequencing in your beat a lot of times when you're using a sequencer it, it drops everything into a quantitative quantitized method and then like I said I drop it on the one slightly humanistic feel to whatever you do and of course when you're using the FPC you can take all of the samples that you've done and pitch them up by like moving the pitch switch or dropping it so and that's that's it ladies and gentlemen so if you like this video hit that thumbs up button more videos to come. Subscribe if you haven't already. As a matter of fact, where can we find you, Black Cubes? Uh, you can find me at B-L-K-C-U-B-E-S. And most places, IG, Bandcamp, Instagram, or you know Facebook. Don't worry, I'm gonna have all his links down below <laughs> this video. <laughs> all right, y'all, peace and positive energy.